Hey, welcome to the Gospel Edifying YouTube channel, a platform where we help you grow in God's Word. We hope you'll be blessed by the words you're about to hear today. God bless you. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. This is even a business idea God is giving someone now. Go and start making smoothies. Huh? Ladies, package it well. Don't serve it as if you are, you are, you are package it with excellence. And let people have something that can begin to help them. The wellness industry is much needed, even within this end time. I'm saying it again, you will not die. Everyone here today, by next year, you are returning. You are returning in health. You are returning with joy. We will never need to come to the hospital to come and visit you. I'm prophesying to you, if you like, receive it. If you like, don't receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say it again, there will be no need for us to come to the hospital to visit you. And as I'm speaking already, any devil that is in your body that has not been planted by my God, whether it is manifesting as cancer, whether it is manifesting as, as whatever kind of satanic thing, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, this moment in this atmosphere, I cause that sickness forever. I cause that sickness forever. I cause that sickness forever. And for some of you who have these sicknesses as patterns within your family, that you see mama had it, your father had it, your siblings had it, in the name of Jesus from this night, let it be minus you. And many believers have not paid attention to that area. And I want to give you as a prophetic instruction is return after today and begin to invest in your health and your well-being. Write it down. You would think this should not be taught in church. That is why believers are dying without explanation. Listen carefully. Invest in your health and your well-being. Some of the most careless sets of people health-wise are believers. Simply because of advantages like the miracle working power of Jesus. Because of advantages like the healing anointing. Many believers have become careless over their health. That includes Christian leaders. And it's affected many, many people. You've heard my story. It's not that I particularly had any sickness or any infirmity. But I usually when I have my retreats, I gauge my life across a number of indices. And I've taught you. And I found out for three years in a row, the worst performing area of my life in terms of my intentional investment was my health. Because of the nature of my work, there was no, and it, it was not lack of finances. It was just lack of interest. Perhaps because of that press for spirituality, I didn't come to terms with the fact that I needed to take my health and my well-being seriously. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit gave me deliverance that night with one scripture. A body has thou prepared for me. This body must be prepared to host your spirit. Are we together? It is your responsibility. You can change clothes. If, my, if this cloth gets torn or old, I can throw it away and bring another one. Am I right on that? Ladies, you can change your hair. If you don't like the one you are wearing, you can throw it away, put another one. Gentlemen, you can barb your hair and then another one, hair will grow again. But this body you are given is the only one you will ever have in your lifetime. Are we learning now? Every human being is only given the gift of one body per lifetime. Lifetime is the time period between the moment you are born and the day your body can no longer take your spirit or the day your assignment is over or the day you are killed by ignorance. In any case, whatever brings a separation between your body and your spirit, whether prepared or not, brings the frame of your lifetime there are many believers who are careless i made up my mind at that point that i will pay attention to the things that get into this body then the bible now tells you that your body not just your spirit is the temple of the holy spirit hallelujah there are many people by the time you are moving into a new house sometimes you insist 
that the landlord has to fix a few things to make sure the house is conducive are we together you check whether the toilets are working you check whether the kitchen water is flowing and then when that is done you can pay and then move in we do that to structures that can be demolished within minutes how much more your body can i tell you ladies and gentlemen one of the ways you choose life is to live healthy one of the ways you choose life is to live healthy take this as a prophetic instruction i'm going to minister to the sick i'll speak over your lives but there is nothing wrong with some of you going to do a complete medical checkup do you know that doctors tell us that most people who begin to have sicknesses from age 40 down to 50 most of those infirmities started within their 20s they ignored it because they still had energy to run around and jump around is the same carelessness we use for vehicles in nigeria a car can break down you are driving and the exhaust is rolling on the ground provided it is moving we just continue until the day it burns the owner and kills him there and then so many people start saying things like hakanea la sharia and so on and so forth say in the name of jesus shout it say in the name of jesus i obtain grace to invest in my health for some of you the meaning of that is that you need to go and review what you eat for some of you the meaning of that is that you need to go back and you know thank god that god is helping to bring this balance to the body of christ for some strange reason there arose a thought especially among the pentecostal charismatic circles that once you are becoming spiritual ignore medicine ignore doctors the moment you ignore medicine and doctors is a sign that the divine life is at work in you i do not agree there is a higher realm where you can live without those things but our growth is gradual are we together people grow into these realities that is the ideal that is god's standard for us that we get to a point where your body is so immune you do not even need to be a victim of all of these things but until we get into that experience we are changed and while that process is on god kept medicine to midwife as an instrument of his mercy while we grow imagine if there were not doctors you know how many women would have died with their children you know how many troubles would have come there are people who have attained that state in the spirit where they have been able to master keeping their bodies healthy by the spirit but it is a process and god is loving enough to allow everybody grow gradually are we together now so do not think it is unspiritual if you find yourself in a hospital you say ah i'm the leader of my prayer group what will my people do if they see me here they say ah mog you are here too to collect injection take away all that, that ignorant talk and take responsibility over your body say amen. amen you stand for no reason and your nose is bleeding and you just clean it and ignore it no should your nose bleed without cause you pray you release your faith you speak the word and then it continues take responsibility doctor please I may want you to look at this what could be the cause and they examine you and save your life over something that will grow out of carelessness until it destroys you for you to humble yourself and treat yourself remain healthy and keep blessing those who need you or stand back in arrogance and die and then you rob the world of a gift of you which one is wiser are we together now so koinonia listen to me use this one month four days or thereabout and go and see a doctor you are feeling pains all around your body you have prayed you've done the best let them check you what is wrong i hope you like what you're hearing it's not a sermon it's a prophetic instruction go and treat yourself even if you want to release your faith let medicine help you diagnose what is wrong then you can now release your faith i i have i've taught you that one of the laws of faith is that faith operates with vision whatsoever things ye desire you must zoom down on what you are trusting god for are we together oh i've been told that i have a condition and that this condition is incurable now the doctors have confirmed it you can now bring it when i say i want to pray for the sick now you don't just lay your hands any part of your body carelessly vision guides you you know where the anointing the power of god should go to 
Are we together? When Jesus met blind Bartimaeus, he said, what should I do for you? Maybe the guy was blind. I believe that that was just the highest problem, but not the only problem. A blind man who has been sitting down there must have other health concerns too. But his priority was to receive his sight. Are we together now? Yes. It's important for you to take responsibility over your health. I made up my mind that this body as my commitment to living long, I will not be careless over my body. Do you know for not drinking sufficient water alone, you can die? I know you don't believe that till you die. You won't die in Jesus' name. Believers are careless and they like testing things until they die. There is something in the Bible called the death of a fool. Water, just the absence of water. It's not lack of finances. It's not lack of a fridge. It's not lack, it's just sheer carelessness. People go to the restaurant and all that is in front of them, there is no water there. And you know, sometimes, especially when we come from backgrounds of deprivation and suffering, by the time God begins to help you, that pressure to show that you have arrived. So you buy malt, you buy um, some kind of drink, Coca-Cola, and you buy whatever, three or four wraps of, of food and the soup and everything, and you eat everything there, and you don't work to justify it. There is a health advice in the Bible. He that does not work should not eat. It's, it's an instruction to help your health. If you plan to be lazy, he's saying don't eat. Because if you eat without walking, it will do something to your body. So you, you gauge the kind of work you are doing first to control what you eat. It's a very powerful health advice. Because every time you keep eating without using the energy, the body, I'm not a medical doctor, but doctors will tell you, it is part of the things that cause a lot of problems for people. Please pay attention to your health. This pounding headache that is coming here and there, see a doctor. What is wrong? I'm going to pray for you. Are we together now? Yes. This situation you've been having, just like that, what could be wrong? Do you know for someone, just a supplement can be the miracle that rewrites everything in your life supplement one good quality supplement i'm saying it so that you will know this is coming from a man of god who works in the healing anointing so you listen very carefully take responsibility say i shall not die let the devil hear it say i shall not die but live but you know there is a way you can live that is better to even be dead because every part of you is so deteriorated that you will pray for death. So while you are saying, I shall not die, you will change it now to but live in health. Not just but live. Say, I shall not die, but live in health and walk in health and remain in health. One more time, say, I shall not die, but live in health and walk in health and remain in health. 27 31 35 40 and you are looking as if you've given birth to the whole world and the whole burden of the whole world is on you stand up is taking you almost one hour parents and grandparents jump up with energy and you see young people just standing and stretching you get up in the morning you struggle for 30 minutes before you get up from the bed come on and you want to be a man of god you even want to be a general overseer no this thing requires energy. It requires energy. So go and pay attention to your health. Maybe the instruction, invest in your health. Number three, the third prophetic instruction that I'm giving you now is make new quality and godly friends. Hmm. Make new quality and godly friends edit your relationships there are people let this be the last time they will be in your life yes sir they deserve to receive a goodbye based on the antecedents of their making you an evil person 
they deserve this is not about being good or bad this is about your determination to go forward did you hear what i said you've heard it in my teaching if there are five foolish people around you you did not count well there are six people and if there are five wise people around you you did not count well you will always be a reflection of the company you keep and never say it does not matter it is relationship that takes people to heaven it is relationship that takes people to hell it is that important everybody who is in heaven today got there as we know from scripture because of their decision to receive the life of jesus their decision to take their relationship with him seriously hallelujah he that walks with the wise the bible says shall be wise himself but it says a companion of fools shall be destroyed there are many of you who love the lord but you are the most serious person in your company your company is full of drunkards unserious people now don't hate on anybody but it's important to love your future too much to not be derailed by careless people and visionless people around you just when you want to study here they come distracting you again they have no respect for the future you are building they have no respect for the destinies connected to your life they have no respect for what god is making out of you they have no regard for your becoming It is time for you to make new friends if you do not have good friends let me tell you how to make good new friends number one pray number two become one who can attract such people to yourself you cannot be a bad person and pray that god should bring good people that's unfair why will somebody come and love something that you hate it's important that you learn to be friendly that means learn to be cautious that means learn to be selfless there are many people the reason why you do not have good quality friends is because your whole world is about you about you everything must be about you it is what i want the way i want alone any other person can go places no it doesn't work that way he that wants friends must show himself friendly you will always attract to your life people and things that are a reflection of who you are are we together now if you keep attracting to your life very bad negative destiny destroying people you are most likely like that there are many of you here it is bad people that like you and look for you let me tell you the truth beyond prayer change yourself you may need to change your lifestyle you are living a lifestyle that drives wise people from your life and tells foolish people i am available do you know that there is a lifestyle that only attracts wicked people only attracts people with curses and all kinds of things it is true there are certain ladies when you see you can almost know that no reasonable responsible gentleman who places value on his destiny will come near that sister because she carries a personal and a manifestation of an unserious person and nobody wants to come and join himself to the life of a minus there are gentlemen when you see you know already that this gentleman is not going anywhere are we together now and sometimes in truth it may not be so the people may even be visionary people but you have given yourself an appearance that becomes fair enough to conclude on you receive grace to be responsible shout amen receive grace to be responsible hallelujah blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly nor sits in the seat of the scornful are we together now it says but his delight is in the law of the lord and on that lord doth he meditate day and night as a result he shall be like a tree that is that is planted by the riverside whose leaves does not wither are we together what does it say and whatsoever he doeth prosper so be careful be careful with old classmates be careful with those who were there with you before you got born again as much as you respect people i'm not teaching you to categorize people and tear people down no but it's important that everybody around you knows that you are now changed did you hear what i'm saying it is all right that you were once tall but remember you are now Paul 
you don't have to shout telling everybody i am paul there is something about the way you conduct yourself that automatically drives old people and brings in new people make new friends godly friends apostle boy you don't know what christian people do no matter what you tell me they are better than unbelievers did you hear what i said don't you ever think you will find it better outside the presence of god no we hope you've been blessed by the word of god today don't forget to like subscribe and share so that you'll be notified whenever we have any new content coming up remember to stay edified we love you and god bless you